Beyond the great Himalayas, south of the Karakoram range, stretches the high and arid plateau land of Ladakh. This is an awe-inspiring and rugged region, guarded by formidable peaks. This high-altitude cold desert encompasses a startling variety of landscapes, which vary in altitude from 2,500 meters to over 7,000 meters. Though inhospitable and harsh, the high-altitude pastures of Ladakh have offered a home for nomadic tribes over the centuries. The fertile valleys along the river Indus too have provided a home for settlers from across the Himalayas and from parts of Central Asia. Indeed, here in the safety of seclusion, the ancient culture and identity of these tribes has been preserved over the passage of many centuries. The Brokpas, for instance, retain their age-old original Aryan traditions. Expanses of the Nubra Valley, these double humped camels, native of Bactria, are reminiscent of the times when Ladakh was a major junction on the trade routes of the ancient world. Ladakh literally means the land of many passes. This little market reminds us of the times when goods from distant lands pass through Leh in this mountainous region. It was an important center for caravans, which traveled from the Mediterranean to Kashgar and Yarkhand in China. Along with the caravans flowed philosophic ideas and artistic influences. From Kashmir came the Vajrayana form of Buddhism, which had been created by the impact of Tantric Hinduism on Mahayana Buddhism. Ladakh became a cradle, where these varied traditions were assimilated and nurtured. From here, the developed form of Vajrayana Buddhism spread to other Asian countries, where it is practiced till today. In the early 11th century, 108 monasteries were built in the Trans Himalayas under the patronage of King Yeshe O, who was responsible for a great revival of Buddhism. Thirty two artists were invited from the great Buddhist center of Kashmir who painted these monasteries exquisitely. These early monasteries of Ladakh present an important milestone in the development of Asian Buddhist art. In the 8th century, Guru Padmasambha created the monastic ritual dance called the Cham in the Trans Himalayas. Padmasambha is the most revered saint of this region and was responsible for the first major spreading of Buddhism here. At 
famous monastery, we see the monks wearing masks of benign and wrathful deities. Across the Fotula and Fensila passes, in remote Zanskar, we see the Cham performed at the Karsha Monastery. The Cham was conceived to help in the process of meditation on the various aspects of the Buddha's wisdom. A little relief and humor is provided by the antics of the nimble acharaks. The dance also depicts the victory of good over evil culminating in the destruction of the human ego, represented by an effigy called a torma. Ladakh has long ceased to be at the crossroads of major trade routes. However, it still attracts many from all over the world who are enthralled by the imprint left by those centuries of vibrant interaction of different cultures here. The ancient traditions of this high plateau land continue till today and keep the community in the gentle harmony of the Buddhist way of life.